All right, guys, I wanted to show y'all last night. I had the AC on. This is 20K system. And it was not fully charged. It was at like 75%. So I had the AC on and now we sitting at, look, the state of charge is at 0%, zero percent, zero amp hours. So I wanted to shoot this video to let y'all know how when I go to work and when I get home, because right now you see that the alarm is beeping because it's low battery. And the sun is pretty much out today. Now, over here on the gill batteries, I do have fully charged. It's actually sitting at 56.1 right now. And in a case of like, say the sun don't come out, I'm just gonna take these back, take power from these batteries and put it inside these batteries. So what I'm gonna do is I'm on my way to work and when i get home i'll show y'all what percentage this battery will be at and if it's not charged let's just say it, the sun don't come out it's a cloudy day and we don't get that much power we'll figure that out when i get back home i'll take power from here i'll just cut this on and charge those batteries up so that's why i say it's always great to have two systems this system i'm going to e email eg4 today i've been having this down for months i mean they haven't hit me back or anything that's the reason why i say i would not buy these anymore so you know it's just that's the thing i gotta deal with with these inverters man it, it's it's pretty much crazy that's just where i'm at with that this has never it like i said i went to work and i had the uh grid i had this battery acting as the grid which is this inverter here charging from here charging the batteries and when I got home, it was just off. I tried it with this one. I went to work letting this charge off of the grow watt. And when I got home, it automatically cut off like it's supposed to do. Once the batteries are charged, that inverter is supposed to kick it off and say, no more batteries charge. This one didn't do that. It just went out, which is one of the, one of the original inverters that I had. This is the one they sent me, the replacement. And this is the original. So something was wrong with the first inverters i mean it's just those inverters was just trash but like i said the replacement it did its job it didn't it didn't like blow out on me it actually cut off the uh, grid power and start working normal so we'll see i'll hit y'all you know i'll make another video when i get home to let y'all know what this battery is going to be at all right all right so i'm back home and as y'all can see we got three bars that's what that's what it gave me today. So we had 69.96%, which is 100 amp hours. So y'all can see, and I haven't used this yet. This batteries are still fully charged. I haven't used it yet because I don't have to. So I'm showing y'all what a 20 kilowatt hour battery can do. And I'm about to cut the, let me walk y'all in here so y'all can see me cut the AC on let me find the remote control if I can find the remote control okay here we go so I'm going to cut that on the mini split and I'm going to leave it on I mean I cut it on at night it's going we're going into the summertime so it's definitely going to be on and you can see that now we're pulling, well, you can't really see it on here. I would have to show you on the inverter because I want to see. Let's see, inverter. So we have 49 volts. And we're uh, pushing out 15%, which is a thousand. Look around nine. Here we go. 976 watts right now with the mini split on and i'm gonna have it on all day and i'll let y'all know if i have to cut this on to you know charge up this battery i'll definitely let y'all know so i'll see y'all in the morning all right guys so it's in the morning now i want to let y'all know i still have it on and this is where we are, it's seven o'clock in the morning and we're at 48.29. So I'm 
So we got 17, let me show you. 17.42%, 24.9 amp hours left. And like I say, it's morning time, so the sun will charge the batteries back up, depending on how, depending on if the sun comes out. So let me show you, I still got it running. So it's at 48.1, 18% still being used, 1.8. I mean, 1.0, so a thousand watts is what we use. That's it. So if, if you're looking at trying to go with like a 20K, then this is what you get. Like that's a 12 BTU and it's pulling a thousand watts. And that's only in my room. Now I have a 36 BTU in the living room, which is a three ton unit. That's a one, one ton unit. And that's a three ton unit in my living room. I don't keep that one on because i'm not in the living room no point of having it on if you're not in there so this just i'm trying to give y'all an idea of what y'all should have if you're looking at trying to go off grid complete because now i can uh i can do a test with my house running off of the light power batteries which is five <clears throat> five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five kilowatts which is 35 kilowatts, which runs way different and way better if I run the AC unit every day off of the, you know, the uh, light power batteries. It won't go off as fast or it won't drain as fast as the 20K do. 10K on this battery and 10K on this battery. It don't drain, drain that fast. So I'm going to let, you know, let y'all see what happens tonight. I'm going to head to work and... We'll see if it, uh, we'll see if the sun charge it up. It's kind of cloudy today, but the sun might come out. It is seven o'clock in the morning, so I really don't know. But we'll check, I'll check back with y'all when I get off of work. Well, it looked like we got a little sun coming out, so we'll see how it is. So, panel, I need to cut my grass. I know I just haven't had time, but look like we're gonna get a little sun on the solar panel. All right, so I made it back home and look like we're sitting at a full charge. Let's see. Sitting at 90.62%. So that's with me having a uh, 12 BTU mini split on all night until the morning until I get up and go to work. I'm about to cut it on now. And that's just running off of this 20K. So they kind of give y'all an idea of like what you should, like what, where you should start off with. Like 10K, 20K, I think 20K, I was saying 10K a few years back because, you know, I wasn't really too much running the uh, mini split. But now that I'm running the mini split, it's almost summertime. You definitely want to have at least 20K and a big solar system outside. You know, I got two ground mounts. Well, you know what? No, I don't. On this, on this particular system right here, I have 10 400 watt solar panels in series. That's hooked up to the EG4 inverters. And this the only one running, by the way, 6,500 watts. So I have 10 in series running this. That's what charged my 20 kilowatt hour battery capacity. I mean, battery bank. So you know, hopefully that give y'all an idea. And I see a lot of people, you know, like, man, you know, that's a lot of money. Okay, let's break it down. It, you're right, it is a lot of money. This is $1,200. Well, it was like $1,300 for this one inverter. And it only puts out 6,500 watt, watts, which is a lot because, like I said, this one inverter runs my whole house. I got my refrigerator. I keep lights on. I keep my fan on. No, I do not keep my mini split on. I only cut it on when I'm home. And you know, when I want that comfortability, like that's the only time I cut it on. I don't cut it on no other time until, you know, like right now it's kind of hot. I'm about to cut it on and it's going to cool me down real quick. And that's running off this right here. I haven't had to cut this on at all. You know, I haven't been charging my Tesla. I haven't, so I haven't been using this at all. And it's just sitting at full, you know, it all got it's like full battery bank but i do use it as a grid so that's why i always tell y'all make sure y'all get two systems you know 
These batteries, I think I paid about 7,800, close to around $8,000 for these two batteries. And the stuff is going up, man. Y'all have to understand stuff is going up, so it's gonna be even more expensive. The cheapest batteries are these batteries right here. One battery is 5K, you know, $1,500 each battery, plus tax, a little about maybe 17, 16, $1,700. But you can always add. That's the thing. Like, I might add three more. I think I want to buy three more. And that'll put me at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. That'll put me at 45 kilowatts, almost 50 kilowatts. So that is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start kind of shooting these videos a little bit more, like me going to work and me cutting on the mini split, just so y'all can kind of get an idea of what y'all system can look like. So I'll see y'all in my next video. All right, so we made it to the morning, and you can see we drained all the way down. Let's see what we get. The sun kind of popped back out, so it's charging right now. So we're at seven percent, eleven point twenty. I mean, eleven point two amp hours. So that right there, right. I end this episode and I start again because I want y'all to see. I don't know if people, you know, think this is not really working so i'm like let me just create these videos when i go to work and when i come home you know i cut the ac on things that i do you know i don't know i try a little bit on my off day to try to keep the ac on all day if it's hot outside just to show y'all if somebody's home all day i want y'all to understand that this worked because i know a lot of people get a little discouraged because i haven't been dropping videos but this works every day i have no problem i'm not paying any bills this stuff works trust me so this gonna end this episode today and i'll shoot the video for the next episode tonight when i get home